Hey guys, enter the stars, and according to the mainstream media, two out of three people think you and I are crazy. But when you look at the real polls, the true picture emerges. This is the video of President Biden saying how he's going to steamroll over people's rights and enact mandates, sweeping mandates, unprecedented mandates. And look how people are responding. Here is the truth about how people feel about this. You've got about one quarter of Americans that are the ones that are tricked and deceived and by the propaganda. And you have three quarters of Americans that don't like what's happening. But you would never know that. And this is how mind control works. This is exactly how it works. You tell people what you say they're thinking, and then they start thinking the way you say they're thinking. Now, here's another one. Let's look at this one. 51,000 people. Now, some of these have turned off their ratings. So you got to be careful with this. Actually, let's look at this one. Let's see what CNBC television says here. Looks like their live chat was turned off. Wow, look at this. Comments turned off. I guess the American people's voice does not matter. Look at the ratings here. This is even worse. 3,000 out of 18,000 people. Now, people can, they can say all they want. Oh, you can't use YouTube polls. But this would be the most accurate way because everybody comes to YouTube. Democrats and Republicans, don't they? I wonder what the demographic is. For Despite the fact that for almost five months, free vaccines have been available in 80,000 different locations, we still have nearly 80 million Americans who have failed to get the shot. And to make matters worse, there are elected officials actively working to undermine the fight against COVID-19. And a distinct minority of Americans, supported by a distinct minority of elected officials, are keeping us from turning the corner. This is not about freedom or personal choice. If they'll not help, if these governors won't help us beat the pandemic, I'll use my power as president to get them out of the way. Trust me, I know. They're mixing it into our flu vaccine. Shipment leaves tomorrow. They did everything from here. Tested it on humans, packaged it to look like the flu shot. And this shipment mingles with the real shots. No one will be able to tell the difference. And no government agency is going to be worrying about a flu vaccine where they got to feed vitamins to evaluate. Which in all likelihood is nothing more than a vitamin shot. They know exactly how to play it. The media bombards us with stories of epidemic, pandemic. So we run out, we get a shot to protect ourselves. That's what the V's are counting on, our, our predictability, our human nature. It's very calculated, isn't it? Everything that Anna does is calculated. So what, we, we, we stop doing what makes us human? All I'm saying is the more predictable we are, the more vulnerable we are. I hope you caught that word, that, that you heard me correctly. They are taught how to enslave the masses. Let me try to explain. I learned many things about the elite. And one of the first things I learned was to listen to their buzzwords. Probably the next most important thing, and by the way, let me pause here long enough to say, any movie that comes out of Hollywood, uh, any uh, liberal news media, any program that I might watch on any given afternoon, I can pick out buzzwords. I have tuned my mind and my ear over 35 years uh, to listening to what these people have to say and things that the average person would probably never pick up on immediately they stand out in my mind the elite the second thing I learned most important thing about the elite they have a code of ethics <laughs>
Well, uh, obviously, uh, it would be hard to imagine uh, posturing for the exact scenario, but isn't it a fact, sir, that prior to September 11, 2001, NORAD had already in the works plans uh, to simulate in an exercise a simultaneous hijacking of two planes in the United States? Colonel Scott, do you have any data on that? I'm not aware of that, sir. I was not present at the time. That was Operation Amalgam Virgo. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, specifically, uh, Operation Amalgam Virgo, uh, which I was involved in before I retired, um, was a scenario using a um, third world United, uh, not United, uh, uninhabited aerial vehicle launched off a rogue freighter in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, General Arnold can back me up at the time. One of our greatest concerns was the proliferation of cruise missile technology and the ability for uh, terrorist groups to get that technology, get it close enough to our shores uh, to launch it. In fact, this exercise, uh, in this exercise, uh, we used uh, uh, actual uh, drone, MQM-107 drones, which, which are about the size of a cruise missile, to exercise our fighters and our radars in a Gulf of Mexico scenario. You're referring to Amalgam-01, are you not? Yes, sir. Amalgam I'm referring to Amalgam-02, which was in, on the, on the, in the planning stages prior to September 11th, 2001, sir. Is that, that correct? That, that was after I retired and I was not involved in 02. I'm sorry, I got I got so caught up in this Marvel comic book. I, I just didn't realize the press conference had begun. I this is amazing. It's it's a limited edition. It's uh, exclusive. It's really special. It's amazing. But you can't just get it anywhere. You can only get it at a vaccination site, a Somos vaccination site. And this is where we're gonna help make kids safe and like the Avengers, fight back against evil. In this case, evil is COVID. I think you figured that out. So here is a great example of an effort to reach our young people with something they care about a lot, reach our families, get people safe, get people vaccinated. Here's one great example, but tomorrow, another great example, the official NBA 2K tournament begins at 11 a.m. Grand prize, Xbox Series X, a raffle every eight hours. It is foretold, greatness will walk among us. One unlike the rest. One of one. The size of a mountain with heart to match. He'll move like lightning. Crash down like thunder. A presence that draws crowds from far and wide. The next generation. Everything is game. Xboxes, Game Pass memberships, amazing stuff. Here are the ground rules play you have to have at least one dose of the vaccine the vaccination bus will be on site to provide that first dose right then and there this is another great effort to reach young people keep them safe i want to thank the boys and girls club thank microsoft and anyone who wants to be part of it sign up at smash.gg slash nyc nba 2k
morning in America. Fresh, vital. The old cynicism is gone. We have faith in our leaders. We're optimistic as to what becomes of it all. It really boils down to our ability to accept. We don't need pessimism. There are no limits. <laughs> it we must look to the something like this. our nation. No, no, it, 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 you know, there's, a, uh, there's a, a clip that's going around right now, and I can get that to your, your person if they need it. But it, and I've, it, it's in slow motion, and it, it, it's almost like a timed demolition. It's, it's the most upsetting thing you're going to see. And it is, there's a huge portion of that building in the rear. Of course, that's where the, the biggest part was, because that's where the ocean is. And uh, it just all came down. One part came down first, and then the other part stood up there for a few seconds, and then that came down. We, we showed that video last hour on the Faulkner Focus, and I'm going to ask our team here on Outnumber to roll it as soon as we can. And it, it, it's almost like a timed demolition. It, it's the most upsetting thing you're going to see. But it, and I've, it, it's in slow motion, and it, it, it's almost like a timed demolition. Our ideals Ugh. of vision. Excuse me. Just survive. You know, you look like your head fell on the cheese dip back in 1957. <gasps> you, you're okay. This one, real ugly. Oh. You see, I take these glasses off. She looks like a regular person, doesn't she, huh? Put them back on, formaldehyde face. That's what That's we got. That's enough out of you. You get out of there, I call the cops. Call the cops? You know what you need? You need a Brazilian plastic sword. I've got one that can see. Handling and processing large numbers of sheep is a necessary task for all wool and lamb producers. Trenching, vaccinating, capsuling, backlining, tagging, jetting and mouthing are all operations producers must perform. And traditionally, the working race is the only option for treating bulk numbers at a time. In a world that is blind, colorless and cold, where banality glows like a fungus or a mold, there live the boring sheeple who look just like each other. A darker force rides into town unleashing demon brothers. With this in mind, ProWay Livestock Equipment have created and patented the Sheep Bulk Handler. Here come the little deviants. They come from underground. They're rising from the depths to take those sheeple down. And just like I've told you for many, many years, you don't have to lie about things. You don't have to sensationalize them. You don't have to make anything up. You don't have to invent figures. The truth is bad enough. The truth's bad enough. And if you tell the truth, you have credibility. And credibility means people will listen to you. Credibility means things will be tended to. When you lie and people find out that you're lying, and it's easy, it is so easy to discover. Then you have no credibility. You become a liar. You become somebody with no confidence factor. You become a rumor monger. You become a, wow, a minion of the old... Who was it? Oh, who was it that was billed as the uh, great deceiver? See, whenever you spread a rumor, whenever you tell a lie, whenever you stretch the truth or sensationalize something, something, and I don't care what the reason is that you do it, you become an ally of the great deceiver. <laughs> Somebody called him Heinrich Himmler. Somebody else called him Lucifer. Somebody else called him Satan. You can call him anybody you want. It must have seemed like the good times would never end. But then, China happened. It comes from China. That's why. It comes from China. Hello, what do you think he's doing? <laughs> Okay, this is no joke. This is the only joke. Not social distancing. I got a couple handshakers right in front of me. Oh, go on another one. You people are like monkeys falling out of a tree. No, you're the monkey. Put your mask on. Get away from me. Put it on. Stop it. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. So, this guy in Michigan came up with this idea. Six feet apart. Oh, yeah. Extreme, extreme measures of self isolation. It um, gets the point across. So you can wear it comfortably all day. Share your smile. Sea Shield wraps your face. On prend une bouchée et on remet le masque. On prend une bouchée et on remet le masque.
I shouldn't have to make it fun. It's science. It's it's science. How many fingers am I holding up this? Three. <laughs> Think a little bit. Check this out. There's a proposal for a pipeline to go from Eastern Europe through Siberia, down all the way through Central Asia, Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, all the way down into Afghanistan. Because it's been proven that Afghanistan has trillions of untapped oil and natural gas resources. The Afghan government doesn't want it. There's a reason why their resources are untapped, because they don't want to tap into those. The same proposal was thrown to the Taliban. Because this company really, really, really wants that area. Taliban takes over with little to no U.S. resistance or presence. And this company, this corporation, gets their deal because the Taliban sees dollar signs. And with dollar signs, they go, hmm, we get what we want. You can just pay us in surplus. What are they trying to do? That's the missing piece, but it's not hard to imagine. Driven not only by corporate greed, but a darker objective. The takeover of America. And then the world itself, by any means necessary, however violent, or cruel, or efficient. By severe drought, brought on by weather wars, conducted secretly using aerial contaminants and high-altitude electromagnetic waves in a state of perpetual war. You create problem reaction solution scenarios to distract, enrage, and enslave American citizens at home. With tools like the Patriot Act and the National Defense Authorization Act, which abridge the Constitution in the name of national security. The militarization of police forces in cities across the U.S., the building of prison camps by the Federal Emergency Management Agency with no stated purpose. The corporate takeover of food and agriculture, pharmaceuticals and healthcare, even the military and clandestine agendas to fat and dull, sicken and control a populace already consumed by consumers. And I encourage you to go shopping more. A government that taps your phone, collects your data, and monitors your whereabouts with impunity. A government preparing to use that data against you when it strikes. And the final takeover begins. So the U.S. government has seized Press TV's website. They just straight up stole it like a bunch of pirates, all because we criticized the United States for being imperialist, precisely for this behavior. Thank you so much for proving our point. Do you know they shut down 33 news sites in one day from Iran, Iraq, Palestine, Yemen? Could you just imagine if Iran's government shut down CNN's website or took down ABC or PBS? They would lose it. They would be whining on every single network, throwing a fit about freedom of press and, oh, Iran's a dictatorship. But when they do it, it's totally fine. They didn't just block Press TV in the U.S. They blocked Press TV worldwide so people everywhere can't access this information, this news, this truth. Who gave you the right to decide what news the rest of the world can consume? Who gave you the right to come and delete all my work? The tireless work of my colleagues. Who do you think you are? This is exactly the shit we talk about when we call out U.S. imperialism. They seized Press TV's website just like they seized Venezuela's gold, Iran's oil, Syria's oil. They're gangsters and bullies. They literally used the national emergency law to shut us down. They say that Press TV, which includes my television program, poses an unusual and extraordinary threat. 
I mean, if that ain't a badge of honor, you know, I'm going to take that. I'm going to wear it right here. You just proved everything we say about Western imperialism is true. This shows that we're having an impact and they are terrified of people who speak the truth and expose the U.S. empire and Great Britain and Israel. Best believe, man, if the U.S. government is trying to silence you, you're doing something right. This is an attack on journalists. It's an attack on foreign press and it's an attack on the axis of resistance. What do all these websites have in common? They're Arabic, Persian, Muslim, and they criticize the U.S. and defend Palestinians. Two truths you will never hear on corporate media. We talk about how brutal the sanctions are, how Israel is occupying Palestine, about Julian Assange. We talk about their hypocrisy. So now Press TV is banned in both the U.K. and the U.S., right? These countries who claim to be liberal democracy who shut down foreign outlets that say things they don't like, who jail journalists, who expose them, and with the audacity to stones to come and lecture about press freedoms. You fucking hypocrites. You know, if our journalism and our expose of the truth poses an unusual and extraordinary threat and the agents of empire label us as such, then that's a label that I'm going to wear with pride. Thank
flight 77 crashed into the 77 foot tall Pentagon 77 minutes after takeoff. And the Pentagon is on the 77th meridian west. And for added effect, Gematria effect, that is, 9-11 is actually 7-11 because September is actually the seventh month, just like October is the eighth and November is the ninth. Learn the code, see through the lies, learn Gematria, see through the matrix.